Hello and welcome to the maiden edition of the program, Kano Spotlight. The program where we'll be bringing you up to speed with the activities of the Kano State Government under the leadership of Governor Abdullahi Ganduji. I am Ibrahim Isa and with me is my colleague, Tessam Akande. Thank you very much, Ibrahim. It's very good to be here. Yeah. Today on the program, Kano State Governor expresses delight at APC's victory in the Minjibri by election. Kano State Government disburses over 500 million naira for projects and programs across the 44 local government areas of the state. Street lights boost commerce in Kano. And of course, we have the project updates and the Vox Pop segment. We'll be back after this break. Don't go away. Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduji has described All Progressives Congress's success in the State House of Assembly by election in Manjibur as a big achievement to the party. Governor Ganduji says the victory of the APC candidate Tasu Ibrahim shows that President Muhammadu Buhari's efforts at transforming the nation are appreciated. On his part, Chief Whip of the House of Representatives, Al Hassan Dogwa, expressed delight over the party's victory in the election. He applauded members of the party for making the victory possible. The result has shown that uh, we have done a lot in Kano State and also the result has shown that uh, Mr. President is doing very well in Nigeria. People are happy with him, people are happy with us and we have worked very hard to ensure that there is a peaceful election and democracy is in action. What I think we must uh, acknowledge about this election was the fact that the APC has once again proved its mantle of leadership in the political uh, environment of Kano State. The governor of Kano State, who is the leader of our party, has also proved all that is needed for him to prove that he's in charge of the state. The election was conducted in a free and fair atmosphere. Kano State Executive Council has approved the disbursement of more than 500 million naira for the implementation of various programs and projects across the 44 local government areas of the state. Commissioner for Information Comrade Muhammad Garba made this known during a press conference in the state. The State Executive Council meeting formally approved to the Ministry of Education, Science, and technology to access funds from the Ministry of Education, I mean Finance, to the tune of nine million seven hundred and fifteen thousand to enable the Ministry pay allowances in respect of twenty nine number. Sakambaj of Kano State students admitted into the Nigeria Law School. Wife of Nigerian President Aisha Buhari was in Kano recently to donate food items to the less privileged in the state. She said touching the lives of the needy is in consonance with the president's idea of making the country a better place. On her part, wife of Kano State Governor Hafsad Ganduji expressed delight at Mrs. Bihari's visit. She assured her that the donated food items would be delivered to the people they are meant for. I'm here in Kano today to celebrate with the beautiful women of Kano State and also to present a small token. We have 14, we have 14,000 of different assorted products. We have rice, sugar, spaghetti, semovita, golden vita, couscous, mahoni, and salt. This is just an appreciation of the items being brought to Kano for distribution. Alhamdulillah, these items are in thousands. And indeed, those that are meant to enjoy these items, by God, they are going to get it. We have already held a meeting with them, and we have emphasized to them, no matter how small it is, it must go down.
I'm happy to see that this project is coming up very fast. The substation where we are now is almost uh, completed. The control room, which is in front of us here, is under construction. And then where the turbines will be installed, where we just uh, visited down deep over there, is also the work is also going on. And very importantly, all the electrical materials, all the equipment, all the parts that are required, that are imported from abroad, are already on the site. We've already inspected them. The turbines are there. We have a big store and also some of the materials, the transformers, they are already there. So whatever we require for this project is already on the ground. All what we need to do is to continue paying these contractors so that the work will not stop at all. In fact, if they can work 24 hours, I wouldn't mind because we are ready to pay them. Any certificate that is ready, that is satisfied to be paid, the Kano state government is ready to, to pay. And from what I have seen, uh, it is very, very encouraging because from what we've been told, the concrete work will start very soon. And that also requires a lot of money and which we are ready to pay for that uh, money. We have already been informed that this work will be completed in two months time. And then the contractor will start the Chalawa project, which is similar to this one. Here we are producing 7.2 megawatts. We have two turbines. One is for 5.2, the other one is for two megawatts, which is up there. So for Chalawa, all the materials required to are there. Kano State has evolved over the years as a fantastic center of commerce. Trade happens 24-7 in this constantly growing city. Thanks to the government's investment in streetlights in different parts of the metropolis. Welcome to Kano, a city that never sleeps. Kano is a gojo city, especially at night. Thanks to its iconic bridges and well-lit roads. One notices this as soon as one steps into Kano City, either through Gorzo Road or through Zaria Road. We got this splendid view from up top Meduguru Bypass Bridge. From that point, the street lights illuminate your path and lead you deep into the city. Traders and shopping mall owners on Zaria Road, Gedi Gedi Court Road, and State Road, among others, walk late into the night. To boost their earnings. On State Road, we met Buhari Sana Abdullahi, who was full of praise for the government for keeping the street lights working. <laughs> Muhammad Shaibu sells lamp meat here in Kano. He says the street lights ensure they are able to make much more money than before. His view is shared by Yakubu Zakari Muhammad who says that he is able to transact business up to 12 a.m. and even chat with his friends up to 1 a.m. before going home. We have nothing to say to the government of Ganduja but thanks. The government has done us a lot, 100% in our businesses. It is true that Ganduja led government has done us a lot, especially in the sustenance of the street lights on Iaka Road and State Road, and we are happy with the government. We are appealing to the government to help us with parking space where our customers can use when they visit us. Adeja Road is like most Kano roads. It is well lit at night, affording Muhammad Kabir opportunity to sell his wares for longer hours and with a feeling of security that was not there in previous years. 
He is also full of praise for the government for making this happen. It helps us too much. If, if there is not it, we cannot even sell the city how we want. Some people will not even know you are in the place. You are, not, you are selling it. It, because of because of the place before is true, you are not even seeing it before. Apart from the, before they put it, you cannot see the, you cannot show the place. It's way past 10 p.m. and further down Hadija Road, Aminu Suleiman, a fruit seller, and Nure Isiaku, who sells roasted meat, are in no mood to go home yet, as they are not short of patrons at that time of the day. They say business has been good. Thanks to the streetlights and improved security. Yes, the streetlight boosts our businesses and people see us well. And we are happy. Streetlights help us immensely because even without generator, the vision is appreciative. We seldom use generators. We are really happy with the government. A combination of improved security and extended trading hours translates to improved gross domestic product. And the people hope this can only get better. <laughs> had in years past witnessed several bomb explosions. Lives were cut short as a result and properties destroyed. But residents of the ancient northern Nigerian city are now telling a completely different story. And they owe it all to the Abdullahi Ganduja-led government. Places of worship used to be targeted. Many Muslims and Christians then resorted to staying at home on Fridays and Sundays respectively. But a recent visit to worship centers in the city revealed that peace and tranquility now reign in Kano State. In the Sabongari area of the ancient city, for instance, these Christians just closed from what they described as a power packed Sunday service. Many of the churches were devoid of barricades, as was the norm some years back. The worshippers were quick to attribute their renewed confidence to the state government. They confess that the Ganduja administration has made security of lives and properties a top priority. Some time ago, the, the, uh, the security challenge, you know, there was, we are not sure of our life if we go to church. Because of that, we are not, most of us, we are afraid of going to church. But as of now, we have that confidence because there is improvement, great improvement in the security. Honestly, there is improvement from, from January to date. There is a lot of improvement. Before, we used to keep even police five, six, seven. But now, thank God, it is only one rider that we used to, to keep on the main gate. Before, there is government, but we face a lot of insecurity. But now, we thank to Almighty God, we pray. And we, we are on praying often now. The explosions in Kano weren't limited to places of worship. The very popular farm center Jerusalem Market, for instance, had witnessed no fewer than three explosions. So the Kano Spotlight crew decided to visit it as well. And just like places of worship, it was a behave of activities. The governor had visited the market and promised renewed security there and the state at large. Traders there were happy to tell us the governor has truly kept his promise with normals to return into the area. And yes, the new really is right for us, for security for us. And uh, we thank the DP of the farm center too, because he gives us a maximum security. As you can see outside, you can see policemen around in the area, both this side and that side. Before, we used to come to market you know with uh, things in mind you cannot even be comfortable at shops sometimes you can't sit for a good two hours or one without you fifing or coming out and see how things are going out how, how things are going on in the market or within the market but these days 
you come in market like uh, 10 o'clock or even 11 o'clock without you going out you without you going outside the market until 6 or 7 like closing time people are moving around without planning escaping route in their mind unlike before when you come to market you'll be planning so many things will be running inside your mind thinking that what road that I can follow in order to escape bomb blast most visually in this uh, market where at least like twice or thrice but behind me is the phone repair section of the farm center market popularly called the pavilion this was where the second bomb attack on the market happened as you can see hundreds of people are here transacting business without any fear the accolades for the Kano state government on its commitment to peace are rent from people on the streets alone security personnel confessed that the governor as the chief security officer of the state is truly living up to the task of securing the state. Musa Magaji Magia is the public relations officer of the Kano State Police Command. He described Governor Ganduje as one of a kind. Musa has been in the police force for 14 years. He revealed that quite unlike before, police personnel in Kano are enjoying a boost in their operations. According to him, these, among others, include donation of utility vehicles to the command by the state government, which cost in excess of 300 million naira. He has just approved for the 25 brand new police patrol vehicles for Kano State Police Command. Utility vehicles, he just approved it. Considering our population, the number of division we have here in Kano, he has approved 25 brand new vehicles as first batch. You also uh, give directive of providing the command with new modern communication gadgets for effective patrol and communication among ourselves. Maintaining the peace in Kano State hasn't been achieved by the police alone. Unlike the rivalry which often exists between the force and other security agencies, the spokesperson of the police in the state says lasting peace in the state has been achieved with the support of other security agencies. DSP Magia revealed that more security measures are being put in place to ensure that Kano remains safe. He revealed some, but noted that others will be kept under wraps for now. Each and every program they do have here in Kano, before they started, they will commence for the praying for peace and tranquility here in Kano, the peace and success of the police and other security agencies. We try and build confidence in the mind of people, so that people will be calling us. I could recall during when the Boko Haram videos was in peak. Sometimes the public will even go to the toilet before calling or thinking that some people will see him. Kano, in the vision of Al Haji Ganduje, must remain peaceful. Residents of the state have vowed to remain in support of the Ganduje administration since it is out to make them sleep with their two eyes closed. They have promised to continually pray for his success especially given his proven commitment to taking Kano State to greater heights. Uh, this year, Musamman ma titunan mu da gadojin sama da yayi da overhead bridge da yayi muna muna goyen bayan wannan gwamnati Allah ubangiji ya sa ta ci gaba da mulkin ta lafiya a gaskiya gwamnatin Ganduje shekara daya mun ga abubuwan alheri iri iri dangane da hanyoyi gyara magudanar ruwa duba abubutotin mu da kuma kwa zazzabar ruwa da zaizai kasa the Gadodi, a Kauyika, the Kaywutel and Turkey, a Urari, Garuan Shah, a Indeke, the Akwe, Ansamuan Shah, or Datati, Sanomanuma, Ansamu in Gantetian Numa, Ansamu Telebi, Naba Matasa, Ayukani, Ansam Abu Wada Dama, a Gomnet in Shikara, they are the Gonduja, Iwata at Kinjarkan. One of Gonetta Kamana Abu and the Chigawa. Masama Tabanga and Ilimi. 
da kuma bangarorin wasu hanyoyi wayanda gwamnatin baya ta bushe ba ta yi su batu amma wannan gwamnatin da ta zo alhamdulillah ta kara samana ko to wannan bangaren mun samu ci gaba musamman titin nan namu na kwana jaba wannan abu mun ji dadin sa kuma mun yaba ganduje Allah ya saka musu da alkhairi ubangiji Allah ya kara mana ci gaba fitulu kuma na hanya alhamdulillah wayanda aka bari ba sa yi an gyara mana shi suna yi muna amfanar su yanda ko mun dare ko karfe na muka kai da dare ba ma jin shayin komai hankalin kwance muke harkokin mu ba tare da tashin hankali eh alhamdulillah mun samu abubuwa na ci gaba to amma ita gwamnati ya kamata duk wasu abubuwa aikace aikace ya kamata a duba to na Kano ya zaman tu an kara samu na su abin da zan ce ni dai ina gwamnati fatan alheri Allah ya sa duk wani abu da ta kudurin da yayi Allah ya sa ta gama shi lafiya alhamdulillah muna godewa Allah da ya ba mu Dr Umar Ganduji a matsayin gwamnati a jihar Kano saboda sabanin gwamnatocin da muka yi a baya mutane da yawa sun la'akari da cewa idan an samu canjin gwamnati ayyukan da wacan gwamnatin ta dauko in wannan gwamnatin ya zo ba zai ci gaba da shi ba amma alhamdulillah da umar abdullah gumduje ya daura daga inda aka tsaya kamar yanda ya ambata a bakin sa alhamdulillah godiya ta tabbata ga sarki allah ni ne masayin dr umar ganduje mai kaunar sa ina murna da wannan gwamnati ta shi ta shekara da da yan wata ne da ya kawo ci gaba a Kano state ubangiji Allah sa ya yi shekara takwas ba wani shi ci gaba kike ganin ya kawo ya kawo ci gaba na ilimi da na boko da na arabic ya fada da su sosai kuma ya yan mu na ba su tarbiya mai kyau kuma ga hanyoyi tun lokacin Male Ibrahim Shekaro aikin da ya bari ya dora da na kuma kwankwaso diya ya dora kuma ga nashi sabu ya ya dauko yana yi Allah shi mushi albarka Allah ka ji kan magabata eh gaskiya ga mu da aikin ganduje ni ma aikacin gwamnati ne kuma alhamdulillah da farkon hawa mulkin ganduje wasu an kuskure da muka dan gani kamar ni a ma'aikata ta ina ganin kamar da za mu dora gwamnati lafiya amma lillahi wa rasuli ya bin ne sa ba mu dora gwamnati lafiya ba saboda mun ga mulki kala kala kuma mulkin ganduje alhamdulillah ko ba komai akwai abubuwa da muka fuskanci yana cikin zuciyar ganduje na alkhairi kasancewar ganduje mutum ne wanda yake tsohon ma'aikaci ne a jihar Kano kuma yana ta budiro da abubuwa wanda al'umma jahar nan za su amfana saboda abin ya taho tushe ne daga kasa shugaban kasa yana kishi yana ta dakile hanyoyi da ake yi dade ana zalincen mutane a kasa kuma shi ma baba ganduje da yazo yana ta kirkiro abubuwa wanda za mu amfana muna ma kan amfana kasancewar yana kula wajen hakin ma'aikata kuma yana dubawa irin ayyukan da za mu amfana nan da shekara 20 ma ku Hope you had a nice time on this week's edition of the program, Kanu Spotlight. Till next week when we bring you another interesting package. I am Ibrahim Isa. And I am Tassem Akende. We'll see you next week.